Hey guys, <clears throat> now I'm back for the Go Go Fury. I found my sweet spot on 4.2. Well, <clears throat> just to recap, I just got this yesterday and I did like a quick review. So far, so good. I got some leak, uh, leakage on the tank, but of course, it's user's errors. Uh, just like the old go tanks or i tank this one is sealed with a rubber and a silicon so in between over there any gaps liquids could go inside and fill it up like a metal seal in the middle <clears throat> anyways my thoughts of vaping the go go fury all day long yesterday with a full charge it's pretty awesome vapor production same thing as the gogo -Go. regular gogo -Go battery they have 13 both of them has 1300 ma this one is longer much improved battery it's because of the variable variable volts where you can set it up to 5 volts I mean if you're gonna go crank it up past the 4.8 that's 5 volts but it's not recommended if you get crank it up all the way down you might break it um, the end cap is alright but I found something that the end cap the paint can chip very very bad like easily <clears throat> if you can see over here Mine's starting a chip already. There's this one chips over there. But overall for me it's not a big deal. Anyways, um the Fury tank is absolutely the best. It's warm. Of course it has a bottom feeder. It's top feeder. The weak is longer and I really like it. I mean I don't have to like tilt it just like the regular go go tank uh, word of advice I mean it's not really advice but it might help you if you fill this up make sure you don't go past through the silicon cup just like probably in between it'll give you like roughly 1.8 ml of liquid at first also if if you get some juices like in the middle the stainless uh the metal tip it goes down in the bottom and possibly leak so in order to do that if you have a if you have a liquid somewhere over there all i did is like take off the end cap i mean the drip tip get something like a kleenex or a tissue and just try to like dry dry the the top of the silicon before you put the drip tip anyways that's the issues about this one I mean it's a tank they leak but not really all the time most of the time I mean I've seen an ECF I just read it uh, probably this morning like he got a leakage on his um, fury tank down here at the bottom um, mostly that's due to overfilling well sometimes there's a defective you just can't avoid a defective uh, fury tank so anyways there's one thing that I noticed the cutoff here is kind of short compared to the regular battery uh, go go I'm gonna show it to you That's roughly around seven, eight seconds. Now, on the regular battery with a Fury tank. You decide. 
anyways the variable vault is really useful depends on juice that you have I got two different here this is a chocolate mint and this one is a watermelon I purchased from the volcano uh, stand here in Las Vegas the chocolate mint I purchased from Sig Easy anyways both product the device I purchased from Sig Easy and thumbs up to them they have a fast shipping service I'm not affiliated to them and I don't work for them this is just an unbiased review and just my experience in vendors anyways yeah that's the one thing I noticed the cutoff here is kind of a little bit short compared to the old go-go <clears throat> either ways that they perform well um, just to educate you about the variable voltage just make sure that you're it depends actually on the liquid that you put in like here the watermelon it doesn't perform well over 4.2 if, if I crank it down 4.8 it'll taste burnt um, also uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna try some juice like how you know to find your sweet spot you have to start like lower it down to 3.2 and slowly dial the twist till you hit your sweet spot if you taste the burnt then that's it stop it from there and put it back um, anyways the GoGo -Go Fury battery and the GoGo -Go Fury tanks are absolutely the best device I ever had I mean I, I don't have um, I, I was about to get the the lava tube uh, 2.0 today and I'll make a uh, I'll make a reviews for that too um, well if if you want to go start you know checking the value uh, VV uh, personal vapor or e-cigarette I recommend the GoGo -Go Fury or the Ego Twist the Ego Twist is alright but come on 1000 mile compared to 1300 mile I'll go with the GoGo -Go. So furthermore, I'm going to show you some vapor production. This is 4.2 watermelon and um, the Fury tank is really a good um, tank because it's really warm. More, probably less than 2.2 ohms, but that's what they say. Now let's see some drags. That's a 4.2. Kind of takes a burn. Um, let me put it down to a 4.0. Now that's good. <clears throat> I alternate this. Um, I got four GoGo's battery plus this, so it's five. So I got three tanks of Fury tank and I got the Go tank. Um, I like switching around flavor. I like the vapor. That's what GoGo stands for the vapor the flavor this even tastes like a caramelizer like a go uh, go kart now let's go for the regular battery nice i don't understand that the go the regular battery 1300 mah for a go go rated 3.7 volts and the GoGo -Go Fury has a lower setting to 3.2. Um, like the chocolate mint, when I put it on the GoGo -Go Fury battery, rated 3.2. Uh, it does a good job, actually. You know, I can taste the flavor very well and it looks like a sweet spot with a lower volt. So it actually depends on the juice that you purchase. Other than that, everything is all right.
Go, go, nation. Um, that's it for my review right now. So I hope I, I help you guys a little bit about how to fill the tanks. I didn't demonstrate, but next video, I'm going to demonstrate how to fill it correctly. Try to avoid the e-liquid down in the bottom and how to blow it up. But anyways, everything is actually common sense. You can do it. Just don't overfill it. Overfill it equals to leakage. This is the Bomb24, signing up.